Dear Anne. Dear Gilbert. Since we are parting ways. I'm sorry. I was confused. Perhaps forever. I'm not anymore. I feel I must unburden my heart. Bad dog. Hey, Billy. It was like a veil. How's it going? Hanging before my inner consciousness. You all right, miss? Don't talk to the boys. They're ridiculous. Go ahead. <laughs> You're welcome. There was this girl back in Avonlea. What's your name, miss? I'll accept Gilbert Blythe. Here, allow me. He's dreamy, but the sudden lifted. Anne. I'm Anne. Uh, I'm. You won't be here today. Why are you walking with that orphan girl? I didn't mean to walk with him. It just happened. Why not? Ruby has liked him for three years. Hey, uh, you can't talk to Gilbert Blythe. You can't even look at him. I'm not supposed to talk to him. She's a redhead. Why not? Fiery tap. Come on, Ruby. Let's get you home. I always put my foot in it with Gilbert. Always. I am not a Gilbert fan. Yeah. For I couldn't be less interested in Gilbert. That boy. One time I called her carrots. He'll never forget his name. She whacked me over the head. Admit it. You've been smitten with Anne ever since she first carrots. came to Avonlea and smashed her oh, oh, I you. I broke it defending myself. Sounds like a good story. I just did. I suppose I just did. Shouldn't we be arguing about something right now? Can we please? And why is this about you? Don't argue for once. Cut. Can you please stop contradicting? Probably. You want to start? Yeah. We'll see. You. I am very sorry that I wasn't more sensitive about your father and what losing him really meant for you. I want to see some of the world first. That's what my dad would have wanted. I can't think of anything. Anyway. Anyway. Me neither. <laughs> I miss you. Hey, hey. Hello. Gilbert. Yeah? At school, there's no one to compete with. I have just gone up with you with the rest of the class! She's smart. Deal with it. She's good. You guys didn't want to spell out a few words for old time's sake. Either that or the E. I think he spelled that word wrong last year. T-R. After all these years, you see me. Engage? Engage. Who knew we make such a good T-E-A-M? Take care of yourself. Bye. forward to meeting Anne. I've heard so much about her. How's Gilbert? You're not funny. You don't even have a Seeing the world, trying new things. What could be better? It seems to me that my destiny is to be the bride of adventure. I have to write to Gilbert. I have to let him know about the gold. Please, help me get my letter to Gilbert. There's gold in Avonlea? If I had somebody pretty back home, who would I know? I'd be up out of here. How long they say until she gets your love letter? You see the letter today from Gilbert Blythe. <gasps> It's not a love letter. Right. I forgot. There's nothing romantical about this letter. It's not like that with Anne. What you heard just now had nothing to do with romance. She's just a friend. Yeah, a friend that make you the smile what? and act like a mook. You wonder what he said? Not returning to Avonlea. Indefinitely. Welcome home. I'm gonna be a of an affliction. <laughs> Gilbert and I knew each other in school. Romance is a pesky business. Let's get this to her to keep. Why? Unless. No sense to be made of it. He don't want to. Good reply. I didn't realize he was back. Neither did I. Anne. You're back. Hi. I returned to Avonlea because I needed what has always been. There's no gold. I know. That's not why I'm here. Be a man. I am. Only a boy can't admit when he's gone over a lady. But I'm not exactly a take notice kind of guy. I want to be Gilbert fair and square when he comes back to school. If you're going to beat me in class, I want you to do it fair and square. Exactly. I'm trying to study. What is your problem? How is your vocation mine? Right? The good doctor? Hope I get there. It's not. I decided I'm going to be a teacher. Do whatever you want. I owe you an apology. No, you don't. Carry on with your goals. I should apologize to you. But it was my fault. Remember when I said that an apology can go a long way? I'll be stuck I'm really glad so you had a vocation if you get there. You will be a wonderful doctor. If you go where your passions lead you. Tragical romance and all. Anyways, good soon. I suppose I'll have my tragical romance after all. Ruby's very preoccupied with a certain someone. I see his face when you were talking about me. Gilbert hasn't made any advances yet. I bet I can help. Take notice to someone you like. If you're interested in Ruby, you should let her know before someone else takes their claim. His eyes were so full of romance, I almost died happy right there and then. His eyes? When he looks at you, his eyes overflow like two cups filled above the brim. His eyes? I wanted to believe you. 
to think it was true that someone could look at me that way. Please, I, I... See you. I'll be off then. See you at the... And I certainly don't need you. Can my help with anything? Anything I can do? Diana, could you please tell Gilbert Blythe that I don't need his help? Why don't you just tell me yourself? I'm right here. I've taken notice of that. You sure pulled that off. Here, I can take that. Just a suggestion. I'm telling you what to do. We did. Caring deeply will always be the right thing. I'm just... A friend who delivered the most terrible news to someone they love. Sorry, I didn't mean to. It's fine. I know so much more now than I did then. No matter how sad you look. That's water under the bridge. That girl you mentioned. Tell me. There's girl. Be sure you marry for love. But I would make a terrible wife. We will be equals and partners. Only for love. Not just husband and wife. Not an ideal beauty. Beautiful. I don't care where she's from. A cute girl is a cute girl. Many suitors or even just one. But he, on the other hand, looks as if he just galloped out of the pages of a novel. Gilbert is so chivalrous. Need anything else? Any dragons around here need slaying? What a splendid chin he has. Never noticed him before. He's something, all right. I didn't notice, of course. And since when do you care what Gilbert Blythe thinks? Do you remember when Cole said he thought Gilbert had a crush on you? You know Gilbert has a crush on you, right? What? <laughs> it's not true. No, he doesn't. Could it be true? So you simply never bothered to speak to Anne about any of this? Had I had the opportunity to, I would have. You had every opportunity. For years. Do you have a crush on Gilbert? Do you love this Gilbert Blythe? Well, I don't know. And you certainly can't deny you were beguiled by her dance practice. The only time I didn't was at dance practice, and that's because I couldn't find any words at all. Just very confusing feelings. Feelings? Do you tell? And I was Elizabeth Bennet dancing with Mr. Darcy. It was his eyes. When we danced, he was gazing at me. Every time our hands touched, it was... And I think he felt it too. If I feel something, for a girl. Before he's the only one I think of in that way, but love? Does that mean that she's the one that I should marry? I wonder if when all is quiet in your mind, you'll find your answer. I'm in love with Gilbert Blythe. Maybe he's my destiny. Your destiny? You want? I think we're meant to meet. Gilbert has a secret <laughs> sweetheart. My true love. Fucking arm in arm with another girl. No. Not a girl. Woman. Winfrey is a lucky girl. Isn't the girl so beautiful? Isn't she, Anne? So beautiful. Honestly, I wish you two every happy for We're not being romantic. There's no Not like you, Anne. We need to go. What's your hurry? We need to catch a train to Charlottetown. But bear, I could have sworn I saw you negotiating for an attractive new parcel of land. Oh, I mean, wife. That boy is not your fish. Hey, you find this? many more fish in the sea. Afternoon, Anne. Oh, sorry. Busy story. Charlie noticed you. I would have settled for one. Ask Gilbert. What in the world did you say to her class to make them change their minds about me? He's the most studious. If you do, it was right. Even in spite of what you're saying about me. And if you ever hassle Anne again, you'll regret it. You always find a way to make things right. <laughs> That's who she is. My Anne with an E. And he's romantic. She always has been. And always will be. You've chosen a wife, haven't you? I'm not engaged. Nor will I. If you're waiting, my blessing, son. When pretty is lovely, it's granted. And your parents are supportive. Bless. I don't understand. What's holding you back? It's to you, Anne. One thing. Last night I asked Anne if she thought there was a chance for Did us. Did you forget what you wanted to say? I don't know what to say. Anything else you'd like to say? To me? What am I supposed to? I, no, I needed to know where I stood with Anne. Then you show up at the ruins after exams and demand to know how Anne feels about you and give her all of 30 seconds to decide her entire future. And how could he have expected me to know in that moment that... So how? I win. She said no, basically. Oh. And I think I told him to marry someone else. Anne is behind you. And Winifred is my future. Gilbert is marrying the girl of his dreams, and that girl is not me. I knew it! It was always on From the moment you got her letter on the ship. I shy away from the truth of how I feel like some fellows I know. I call it lover. I love Gilbert Blythe. Go to him. Gilbert Blythe! Tell him. I love him. I have to tell him now. Thank you. I'll see you. I'll leave him a note. I love you. He wasn't home, so I left a note. 
The universe works in mysterious ways. Gilbert had nothing to say. Not a word to me about my note. Because all these little notices matter when you want to let someone know that you're thinking You ahead. alone are the keeper of the key to my heart. To the future together? Yes. You know what I can do? Ask. You would live for sure, Lipton. Oh, I guess love doesn't conquer all. She told me he plans to propose to Winifred after all. You couldn't even face me! I thought I was going to be an You ugly. callously ignored the letter and wrote to you, even though she told you she loved you. What letter? Diana, what letter? I hope you and Gilbert have a wonderful life together. Gilbert didn't tell you anything? Tell me what? I'm requited. I'm being thrown over for an unrequited love. In fact, I hope he doesn't love me. She doesn't have feelings for you. The great stories are about unrequited love. And when the right person comes along someday, you can only know something when you know it. You are the fond object of my affection and my desire. Not a minute before. I'm what if by then it's too late. When someone loves you, Anne, then you'll be kissed. Do you truly have feelings for me? And I shall never be dissuaded from my low opinion of him. Why must the girl wait for the boy? And if I wanted to kiss a boy, couldn't I just kiss him? <laughs> I just don't want you to miss out on love. Attraction, yes, it's important. Love, that's what truly matters. He loves me. He loves me not. That's all you really have to decide, eh? To live a life with no regrets. He loves me.